More than a century and a half ago, the largest recorded sale of enslaved people in the South, known as the Weeping Time, took place in Savannah. The Weeping Time Commemoration Committee spoke with WSAV's Tyler Carmona about their yearly efforts to acknowledge and teach others about history. Today, the committee hosted an event at the Beach Institute, focusing on genealogy and how it relates to the 436 men, women, and children that were sold in the span of two days. Janice Roots is a family historian who encouraged people at the event to take a deep dive into their family's history. She says a simple DNA test revealed her connection to the slave auction from over a century ago. I never knew that my family was sold at this auction, and now I know. Back in 1859, on March 2nd and 3rd, a massive slave sale took place in Savannah on an old horse track. It was known as the Weeping Time because historians say it rained steadily till the last person was sold. So some stated that God must have been weeping. You know, we're remembering them around an event that was traumatic, that was oppressive, but I don't think that matters as much as the fact that they are remembered. This occurred 164 years ago, but Kipling Primus of the Weeping Times Commemoration Committee says it's more important than ever to acknowledge such a significant part of history. We have to remember the past. Number one, they say if you don't remember your history, you'll repeat it. So not only don't we want to repeat the history, but ancestors deserve to have that special place. And this is a way for us to remember them. Today's event is one of eight events scheduled throughout the weekend for Weeping Times commemoration. WSAV will be covering some of these events as well. Reporting in Savannah, Tyler Carmona, WSAV News 3, on your side.